Well, it's the end of the year and the end of a Congress. And while the final few days were a little bit ugly and Congress should not have waited until the 11th hour to do its spending bill, and clearly there were provisions in that spending bill that uh, I don't think were in the best interest of our country, overall there is some good news. The overwhelming majority of the federal government is going to be able to operate without the threat of shutdown. For Virginia, we saw the refueling of our aircraft carrier, the George Washington, important for both jobs and national security. We saw funding for Metro, funding for the Chesapeake Bay, repair dollars for our commercial space facility on Wallops, and other important programs in terms of rural job development. Looking forward, uh, we're going to need, under Republican leadership, it's going to be a challenge. Uh, but I'm going to give the, the new leadership the benefit of the doubt if they're willing to work in a collaborative fashion. What I want to work on are continuing to improve both the number and quality of jobs, particularly focusing on infrastructure. I want to continue my work on easing the burden of student debt. You shouldn't go broke if you go to college in America in the 21st century. And I'm going to continue to work on trying to get our balance sheet right. I know it's not on the top agenda of many folks, but with $18 trillion in debt, if we don't grapple with that, our ability as a nation to invest in education, infrastructure, research is going to be undermined. That's going to take a collaborative, bipartisan approach. I know we've not seen much of that in the last year, but in my job, you've got to always stay optimistic and hopeful. And that's what I'm hoping for in terms of my New Year's wish is actually a Congress that can function and put the American people first. So I want to wish you and your family a very happy holiday. And let me close as always. You know, it has been the honor of my life to serve Virginia and our country, first as governor and now in the United States Senate. I appreciate your friendship and support. And remember, with all our challenges, we still live in the greatest country in the world.